In this lecture, we'll talk about current assets in a little more detail. After cash and marketable securities, the balance sheet lists accounts receivable and inventory. These are other, other uh, current assets. Remember that accounts receivable is the money that's owed to a business by credit customers, customers that take the product or take ownership of the product but haven't paid or they defer payment. Uh, these are, would be credit customers. That re deferred, cre deferred payment is the accounts receivable. Many businesses make the vast majority of their sales on credit, so managing accounts receivable is an important task. Each credit sale represents an account receivable for that company, the terms of which typically require the customer to pay their full amount due within 30 days, 60 days, or even 90 days from the date of the sale. To encourage quick payment, some businesses offer some of their customers discounts of between 1% and 2% if they pay off their balance within a specified period of time, usually between 10 and 30 days. Information on company credit ratings is provided by local credit bureaus, national credit rating agencies, such as Dun, Dun and Bradstreet, and other industry trade groups. That allows organizations to decide at what, how much credit to offer and on what terms. So many times an organization does its business but does not yet receive payment until later, and that's the accounts receivable. This is why cash management is so important. You don't have the cash yet from your sales, but you do have to continue to pay your bills. The other, current, other major current uh, asset is inventory. Financial managers have to con coordinate inventory purchases to manage their cash flows. The objective is to minimize investment in inventory without experiencing materials shortfalls or lost sales due to the fact that there's no inventory. Optimal inventory levels are determined in a large part by the method of production. If the firm uses just in time to meet sales demand, the inventory will be low. If the company, company produces materials on a constant basis, then inventory increases when sales decrease, and inventory decreases during time of high sales. The bottom line is excess inventory ties up money and could be, that could be invested elsewhere in the organization. But in, in the inventory shortages could drive a customer to a, competitive, to a competitor, and once they're lost, they may never come back. So inventory management is one of the main cash management items, particularly in product businesses with high inventory costs. It was also related to distribution to many stores through distributors and the like. Where one locates the inventory is also important. You may have some stores that are out of inventory, other stores that are overstocked. So you start to see how distribution efficiency works into inventory and cash management. In the next lecture, we'll talk about current liabilities.